I appreciate Lori's introduction on organizing and simplifying our lives. Now, um, when it comes to organizing and simpl simplifying our lives, um, knowing a little bit about how to handle our money, and even more, how to help um, the kids around us handle our money, whether they're our own kids, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, is very helpful. I do a lot of work with youth financial literacy. And one question that I get from quite a few parents is, uh, you know, the question about allowance. How does allowance work? How should I be doing it? Should I be doing it at all? Um, the question, uh, or the answer is yes, you should be doing an allowance with kids. And you really can't start too young, honestly. Um, just to help them uh, just even be able to learn what money is, even before they know how to spend it or how to count it or that sort of thing. Uh, then the question then becomes, if you're doing allowance, should you be doing it in reward for doing chores? Uh, or should you just be giving it as an entitlement? Honestly, the research isn't conclusive, right? So basically they said doing an allowance one of those two ways is better than doing no allowance at all. So either you're rewarded for doing chores or not. Now, um, once you've figured out how to you know, give an appropriate amount to, you, to your kids, uh, then you can figure out how to help them spend it. And that's what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today. There's actually a whole bunch of uh, mobile apps out there that are particularly useful for uh, older kids, teenagers. can also help you as parents and even as grandparents and relatives to help um, learn about money yourself, but also help, the t uh, help kids to learn about money as well. What we've uh, created here is a program called Money Ninja Warrior. Um, given time constraints today, I'm not going to go through the whole program, but I did want to give you a little taste of it because um, what it does is it just creates an engaging way that you can teach um, uh, youth, as well as adults, um, how to use mobile apps to manage money. Okay, So uh, what it uses is the storyline of actually being a ninja. And uh, you have to uh, protect your village from, in, from an invading dark samurai. right? And this is a game that you could actually play at your own computer with, uh, with you know, um, your child, or uh, even for yourself, what we found is a lot of adults uh, respond pretty well to this information as well. So uh, we all um, who have the smartphones use mobile apps. Why not use it to help make our lives a little simpler with money management? So when you defeat the Dark Samurai, that's when, uh, or when you get your black belt, that's when you're ready to face and defeat the Dark Samurai. In this case, we use the word weapons because we're ninjas, but we're also um, using that word referring to apps. So, because ninjas are all powerful, they um, squish those two words together, weapons, right? So here's an example of, of getting your first belt. It would actually be the pink belt, and you'd go through all these different uh, stages, learning about different categories of financial apps, until you got your black belt and were ready to take on the dark samurai. Now at this point, you see that our first weapon is called the Fan of Family Fortune. It doesn't look very intimidating, but uh, uh, don't be confused because it can be a very powerful tool. These are allowance apps, what I was just talking about, how we can make our lives a little simpler by uh, even as parents or as kids just uh, managing allowance. Some of the apps out there are ones called Saving Wiz Junior, Allowance Bot, uh, Money Trail, and uh, Automatic Allowances. So. Um, and these are just a sampling. There's a whole bunch of apps out there that are very useful to learn about um, uh, how to make your allowance a little bit more effective in, in kids' lives. Now what you see here is you can actually create profiles. Right here we have a, a, our child named Peter and his chores are to clean the room, mow the lawn, and to wash the dishes. And so you can keep track of progress on those chores and also uh, reward those chores financially if that's the way you've chosen to do your allowance. Here you can see on moneytrail.net, that app, you can actually keep track of running balances for uh, each of those children. And um, it includes uh, not only the credit balance, but the cash balance and the saving balance. And so um, you can split up uh, allowances into those different categories to help keep track of them. Youth can also um, create avatars or profiles so that uh, it's easy to manage. Let's say you've got a house full of kids. How do you manage all of those? Uh, uh, accounts and make sure that uh, you're staying on top of that. That's an easy way to do it. Create profiles. And uh, you can also track savings goals. So for example, right here we have on the very right, uh, one of our children wants to uh, save up $40 for an Xbox game. 
That's not unheard of, right? <laughs> Kids like Xbox games or similar type things, $40, but this will help them calculate. You can save $40 in about eight weeks if you do $5 a week. And so it helps them understand and focus those finances on what's really important to them. Now, it's our job then as the adults in their lives to actually help them understand, well, that Xbox game might be a good thing, but what else can we do with that money? Make sure they understand the opportunity cost of those decisions. So now that I've shown you what the fan of family fortune can do, I wanted to open it up real quick to the audience and see if we can answer these questions. It says, what tasks can you perform? Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. And nope, I can't. Apologize. Anyway, what tasks can you perform with the fan of family fortune? So I'm going to read them out, and I want you as an audience to tell me which of these apply to the fan of family fortune, the app category we just discussed. First one is track your child's allowance. Is that true? Yes. Yes, yes okay. How about track your checking account? No. Okay. Give your children chores through your phone? Yes. yes. Okay. Kids can track their savings? Yes. All right. File your tax forms? No. Okay. Play financial games? Yes and no. Yes and no. I need a, you know, there's no yes or no here, so. Yes. Yes? Okay. Let's try it. I'm sorry that is not correct. <laughs> I want to do that for fun just to show you that, uh, you know what, it's okay. You get a retry. Oh, and I just skipped the review screen, but that's okay. I'm going to help you out a little bit on this one. This one, um, you actually don't really get to play financial games, and it does look fun, but it's not necessarily a game. The reason why that is an option is because the next weapon category is actually financial games. There's a whole bunch of uh, apps out there uh, that are actually games that help you learn about finances. And when I say you, who am I talking about? Well, it could be youth, it could be um, youth users, but it could also include uh, adults. I know that uh, many of the apps that um, I've taught in here for youth audiences, I've used myself. And they're still very effective and fun to use. So let's go ahead and uh, give your children a choice through your, through, through your phone. It's a very tough one. Though. Yeah, and you're right. I, I was trying to talk and think at the same time. It wasn't working. So. <laughs> and kids can track their savings. There we go. I think they're all right in a row there. Hopefully I don't get it wrong in front of everybody. So congratulations. You got your pink belt. So that was just one category of financial apps that there are out there. And there's actually a whole bunch more that I think can be very useful, um, uh, again, to all of us, but uh, to our youth especially. And again, this, this uh, program is not quite available for the public, but in a few weeks or about a month, we're going to have our website up and ready to deliver this and other uh, youth financial literacy programs. If you're interested in that, um, you can come contact me. If Katie has your contact information, she can share it with me as well. And we can make sure that you're... Uh, uh, aware of that when it's available. Uh, at this point, I'm out of time, but uh, if there are any questions, I'd be happy to take any. And uh, if not, we'll go ahead and move on. Y'all want your prizes, don't you? So. <laughs> All right. Thank you.